next sec the next item of business is an amendment to the section on law and justice. And we can show that up on the screen. It is regarding plan number 86 and law and justice. It is to delete the plan. The plan comes to the death penalty for premeditated murder. And David Allen moved this. Should speak. And I delete this from the plan. Uh, I just shake my head and then to promote death to abortion, favoring abortion, they promote death to favoring assisted suicide and euthanasia for elderly. And then, then they come to me and say, but I'm against the death penalty. And I say to them, you can't have it both ways. Okay? So, this, we're against abortion, we're against assisted suicide, we're against euthanasia, it's in our plan, we can't work. For the death penalty, we can't have it both ways, folks. We are a party of life. We have to have integrity and consistency in what we do for people to take us seriously. <coughs> you have to examine your hearts on this because my head tells me to be for the death penalty. It kill those people faster. But my heart tells me to be for the death penalty. So, thank you, delegate. Your time has expired. The speaker opposed to the amendment. Yes, sir. Dan Kaufman, CR 17. I make a differentiation between innocent life and some monster that uh, chooses to take innocent life. As far as I'm concerned, they have advocated by life. Thank you. Is there a further speaker in favor of the amendment? Brian Olson, Mary. I'm in favor of this amendment. <clears throat> I too agree with the prior speaker that we should be a part of the As an attorney, I uh, have a chance to see our courts in action that are not always perfect. And if they made one mistake one time on the death penalty, you've taken somebody's freedom, you've taken somebody's liberty. You can't say 100% of the time, that the person that you're accusing here is a monster because the courts do make mistakes. You'll live in a country where you should have the right to life. I call for adopting this at this point. Thank you. Is there a speaker opposed? Tim McCoy, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. I'm, I'm a representative. You cannot have take life of the innocent by premeditation. Um, if we stand on the laws. God has ordained that to take, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh, I don't think we hold the guilty accountable. We uh, bypass, as a nation, we bypass the slaughter, some holocaust of the innocent and abortion, and yet turn around and let the guilty, the premeditated, the murderer who would take another person's life without just cause and say he has a right to live. But in fact, he took a line. Delegate, your time is expired. He uses it. At this time, um, we have room for one more speaker in favor of this plan, in favor of the amendment. Um, my name is Craig Seeley, CR 20. Um, it has never been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the death penalty um, causes crime to go down. We have just said that life begins at the point of conception. Well, then we can say that a woman is premeditating to um, commit murder because she's going to abort her baby. 
And so are we going to give her the death penalty? And so we really have to think about this whole scenario of um, life. And I believe that life is prenatal all the way through um, to the grave. And, and so I, I, I am quite certain that spending the rest of your life in prison is ten times worse than the death penalty. And so, like everybody says, we can't have it both ways. Are we going to give... Thank you, up? Delegate. The time has expired. At this point, we've had three speakers in favor and three speakers opposed. I do want to, as your chair, take just a moment and thank all of you. Uh, as we get into this discussion of some of these issues, which are very much uh, heated issues that people feel very strongly about, you have been very respectful of speakers, even those with whom you disagree, and I appreciate that, especially. I apologize that we, we've only had two speakers opposed, uh, so at this time I am going to recognize John to speak of opposed, and then we'll proceed to vote. Thank you. 